Francis Bailey, April 28, 1774, August 30, 1844, was an English astronomer. He is most famous for his observations of Bailey's beads during an eclipse of the Sunday. Bailey was also a major figure in the early history of the Royal Astronomical Society, as one of the founders and president four times. Life Bailey was born at Newbury in Berkshire in 1774 to Richard Bailey. After a tour in the unsettled parts of North America in 1796-1797, his journal of which was edited by Augustus de Morgan in 1856, Bailey entered the London Stock Exchange in 1799. The successive publication of tables for the purchasing and renewing of leases, 1802, of the Doctrine of Interest and Annuities, 1808 and the doctrine of life annuities and assurances, 1810, earned him a high reputation as a writer on life contingencies, he amassed a fortune through diligence and integrity and retired from business in 1825, to devote himself wholly to astronomy. Astronomical Work By 1820, Bailey had already taken a leading part in the foundation of the Royal Astronomical Society, and he received its gold medal in 1827 for his preparation of the Society's catalogue of 2,881 stars, Memoirs R. Aster. Sock. 2. Later, in 1843, he would win the gold medal again. He was elected as president of the Royal Astronomical Society four times, with two-year terms each, 1825-27, 1833-35, 1837-39 and 1843-45. No other person has served in the position more than Bailey's four times, a record he shares with George Airy whilst his eight years in the post high record. The reform of the Nautical Almanac in 1829 was set on foot by his protests. He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1832. He recommended to the British Association in 1837, and in great part executed, the reduction of Joseph de la Lande's and Nicolas de la Cale's catalogues containing about 57,000 stars, he superintended the compilation of the British Association's catalogue of 8,377 stars, published 1845, and revised the catalogues of Tobias Meyer, Ptolemy, Alagbeg, Tycho Brea, Edmund Halley, and Hevelius. Memoirs R. Aster. Sock. 4. 13. His observations of Bailey's beads, during an annular eclipse of the Sun on May 15, 1836, at Inchbonny in Roxburghshire, started the modern series of eclipse expeditions. The phenomenon, which depends upon the irregular shape of the Moon's limb, was so vividly described by him as to attract an unprecedented amount of attention to the total eclipse of July 8, 1842, observed by Bailey himself at Pavia. In other work, he completed and discussed H. Foster's pendulum experiments, deducing from them an ellipticity for the Earth of 1289.48, Memoirs R. Aster. Sock. 7. This value was corrected for the length of the second's pendulum by introducing a neglected element of reduction, and was used, in 1843, in the reconstruction of the standards of length. His laborious operations for determining the mean density of the earth, carried out by Henry Cavendish's method, 1838-1842, yielded the authoritative value of 5.66. Bailey died in London on August 30, 1844 and was buried in the family vault in St. Mary's Church in Thatcham. His account of the Rev. John Flemsteed, 1835, is of fundamental importance to the scientific history of that time. 
It included a republication of the British catalogue. The lunar crater Bailey was named in his honour, as was the rigid and thermally insensitive alloy used to cast the 1855 Standard Yard, Bailey's Metal, 16 parts copper, 2.5 parts tin, 1 part zinc, and a local primary school in his hometown of Thatcham, Francis Bailey Cove Primary School.